What's going on? Welcome to the war zone. I just wanted to do uh do a post fight reaction on the Javante Tank Davis and Mario Barrios fight. My goodness. Awesome, awesome, awesome fight. Um I predicted Tank Davis eight round knockout. He, um the fight was stopped in the ninth round. It was an absolute war. Mario Barrios came for war. I mean, wow. I mean, there were some great moments for both fighters in the fight. Um, Mario Barrios, man, I mean, he was landing that jab. The jab was crisp. Um, he was uh, going to the body really well on Tank Davis. Um, his right hand, his left hook was working. Um, I'm telling you, man, this was, this was a real, real, real war, man. Tank Davis moves up to 140 pounds and gets the 140 pound title. Now he holds three titles in three different weight classes. Um, Tank Davis just showed composure. He was getting hit with some, with some good shots in this fight. Showed composure, man. He just slowly and methodically walked him down and walked him down and was when he hit him he was hurting him um he dropped him uh i think it was round six or seven dropped him um mario came back you know and and uh fought really good after that and then tank was the ninth round came around man and, and and tank was just he was too much definitely too much man you know um many people were wondering whether his power would carry over to 140 and um i guess he answered all those questions man um absolute absolute great performance man i was so pleased with the performance man just both fighters my hat goes off to both fighters man they really came out and put on a show for the people um once again man um mario barrios man absolute warrior absolute warrior um but uh it's as simple as this man tank hits different you know, and when I take a look at the 135 pound weight class, I, I really don't see anybody um, beating him, man. Uh, I really don't see anybody taking that risk to beat him. You know, they're seeing this guy stepping up to 140 pounds, winning another title. I mean, they're going to stay. A um, if there's going to be any type of uh, big fights in the future, it won't be anytime soon in that division. Um, 140 pounds, I think, you know, I think there's talks that Regis Progre is interested in fighting him. Uh, maybe even uh, Jose Ramirez in the future, but um, Leonard Ellaby mentioned that uh, Josh Taylor, there won't be a Josh Taylor fight because they don't bring enough to the table. And, um, you know, and I kind of look at the Josh Taylor situation like I'm looking at the Mario Barrio situation. Yeah, he'll give him problems, but um, Taylor, Taylor takes a lot of shots. He gets hit a lot. And um, uh, Tank Davis is not the fire that you want to get hit by man especially in the later rounds man he will put you down um so the power is real man um once again the 135 pound division i really don't see anybody really taking this fight devin haney will take the fight because david haney will fight anybody but i don't see devin haney being able to um take this power especially after the lenaris fight he got buzz in that fight. See, Tank's a different, he's a different kind of breed, man, you know, when it comes to um, punching power. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, Devin Haney, he could, he could definitely win that fight. It's winnable for him. But um, anybody who's not a boxer and they're a slugger, I don't think you want to slug with this guy. 
um, Tia Fimo, Ryan Garcia. I don't think you really want to um, slug with um, Hank Davis, man. And after seeing this fight, maybe they'll have second thoughts. But um, once again, man, just amazing, amazing performance, man. Um, definitely, definitely worth it, man. Uh, two Warriors got in there and just put on an amazing performance. I was pleased, man. I was really pleased. Um, and like I said, um, Barrios was uh, really, um, after, the, after the first knockdown, man, he, I mean, he came out fighting. He may have won a round after that. You know, so the kids got heart. The kid can fight. It was just too much for him on this day, man. It was Tank Davis's day, man. My hat goes off to both champions. And, um, yeah, we got to see uh, what's in store for both of these guys, man. But, uh, yeah, man, um, like I said, this kid hits different. He's a different kind of breed, different kind of fighter, man. Um, he is the real deal. I knew he was the real deal. But, you know, maybe this will answer some of the questions that people are asking about Javante Davis. Um, he is, a, he, he, he's just a master at what he does, man. He just, he just slowly walks you down and breaks you down and he takes you out, man. That's his style. Um, and the kid can box a little bit, but I think that's just a part of his game plan to try to, you know, uh, get you to, to work. And, uh, when he hits you with those shots, man, it's like, it takes two or three rounds off of you, man. So, um, once again, man, it was, it was an awesome, 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 uh, fight, man. And, uh, we will see what's next for these fighters. Um, thanks again, man, for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, blessings and love to all of y'all. Peace.